Okay, today we're over here at 106 Quail Trail. Again, this is 106 Quail Trail. This is a four bedroom, three bath. Just shy of 2,300 square feet. Get you a quick look around the neighborhood. In this area right here, you do have a uh, pond right down here. HOA fees keep up with the pond. You've also got access to the community pool. It's got a big clubhouse and all down there. Um, lot is fully covered by a sprinkler system. There's a lot of upgrades in this house. Uh, of course, you've got your six permacast columns here on the front. It's got the stack stone on the bottom. The permacast columns, of course, are the columns that will never rot. They're made out of a fiberglass resin type material. Uh, underneath, you've got all your soffit lights here. You can see them. And those are actually on a timer. Uh, you just set the timer and they're automatic. They come on, I believe, at 8 o'clock at night right now and shut off at about 10.30ish right now. Um, coming up here, you've got a gel coat fiberglass front door. It's been gel coat stained. Double side lights. This is a hardy plank, so it's a, like a concrete base siding. Um, with that being said, you don't, <coughs> excuse me, you don't have to, uh, to worry about any type of wood rod or anything like that. There is hand scraped wood floors throughout the majority of the home. Get you a look at the floors, all the floors are in great shape. It's got custom paint throughout. It's got all the shadow boxes on the bottom. Uh, custom crowns and moldings throughout. This is a chair rail, double chair rail actually. There's one here and then another one down here. All the moldings, even like over the front door, it's oversized crown molding all across the front door. You'll notice that across all the windows. Oversized crown molding throughout the entire home. When you walk in, you're going to have your master to the right. Either there are three bedrooms to the left. It is a split bedroom floor plan coming into the office study area. Again, some of the same flooring that was on the floor is in the ceiling. Custom paint throughout, like I said. In your coffered ceilings, it's got the paint where it steps up for your coffered. Again, over the windows is all the extra molding. Two inch blinds throughout, even below the windows is all the extra molding. This house is really, uh, was a custom build. Coming into the living room, arched doorways. Coffered in the living room, it's got the shadow box and all in insets and you'll see all the molding over all the other windows. Under and over cabinet lights in the kitchen, granite countertops. It's got a little medallion in the kitchen right here in front of the sink area. The cabinets have been recessed in right here. You can see where the cabinets are recessed in so that way when you're standing at the kitchen sink you don't have your knees or anything bumping on your kitchen sink. Um, Looking from the breakfast area out across the swimming pool, I'll take you out there in a minute. All the appliances are stainless steel, Frigidaire, Galleria series. It's got a gas stove. Again, Frigidaire, Galleria series. Big pantry area. Shelves everywhere and through the pantry area. What I'll do is I'll go around to the master side first and then we'll come back over on this side of the house. It does have security system on this side of the house right here. It's got the washer dryer, cabinets in here, along with utility sink. The house does have the PEX water system. With this system here, every valve in the entire house can be turned on or off independently. So you don't have to shut the water off to the entire house. If something should ever happen, you just turn off every valve independently. Coming into the master bedroom again. Same hand scraped wood floors. Same top of the ceiling in here. Can lights. It's a nine foot ceilings with a step up to 10 foot throughout the majority of the home. Anywhere your coffers are stepping up to 10 and then of course you've got your nine foot normal ceiling heights. Uh, extra high on the vanities in the bathroom. Double sinks. Lots of storage area in the master closet. And you also have this for storage in the master. 
uh, turning back around in the jacuzzi tub I've got this switch off right here so you don't have the fan running but in the shower you've got your rain head shower on this side and of course another one over here on this side with the double boxes but it's got the double it's got a whirlpool jacuzzi tub a big window looking over that even in the bathroom oversized crown molding it does have a toilet area behind the door we'll get you around to the other side of the house we're uh, typically capped off at a little over 10 minutes on a video I'm sorry go into the garage real quick but it's got a big oversized garage that door right over there will take you to the exterior they're obviously in the process of getting ready to move so they got boxes and whatnot here but that door there like I said would take you to the exterior individual garage doors and then this over here is a storage area so you have storage area as well uh, get you back over here this right here this is actually the timer that I was telling you about to run the lights the exterior lights if you just open that up that's the timer that runs the exterior lights As a matter of fact I'll just shut those back off now so I don't forget in the back door here you've got blinds that are in the door with the this handle right here you can open and close or this one right here will slide them up or down but you don't have to worry about getting dust in them you don't have to worry about fingerprints you don't have to worry about kids bending them anything like that going over to the side this side of the house this is again a four bedroom this is one of the bedrooms here Again, crown molding all into here. This bedroom right here has got a huge closet on this bedroom and it also connects to a bathroom. So this is a nice size walk-in closet, very generous size, but this is a door right here that would connect from this bedroom to this bathroom. Or I'll go out this way. This is the hall bathroom that would service the guests. Again, it's got granite countertops in here, oversized toilets, it's got the curved bar, even all crown molding in this bathroom here. The entire home, like I said, is full of crown. Don't believe there's obviously crown in the um, pantry, but in this room right here, this one here has got another generous sized closet about the same as the other. But again, uh, in, in uh, need of time, I won't go to that closet. This right here is a bathroom this is the third bathroom that would service this bedroom but the great thing about this again granite countertops is this door right here will actually take you to the back so when you're having guests over for the pool or anything else they can just come straight from the pool go straight into that bathroom right there straight onto the tile floors never have to worry about having any of the water dripping through the house on the wood floors this is a 16 by 32 saltwater pool it of course does have a bunch of the extra concrete on this side right here and the big covered back patio right here but with the saltwater pool it's uh, much easier on the eyes much better for the clothes um, it's more like a saline solution it's not salty as like the salt in the ocean it's uh, more more just a little bit of a salt to the taste but uh, much easier upkeep instead of a hundred dollars a month in chemicals you spend you know uh two or three bags of salt all throughout the, the summer at seven or eight dollars a bag got a bunch of custom landscaping all across the back fence line back here and again everything's covered with a sprinkler system this is your pool pumping all over here all the grass is in good shape Get you a quick look at the back of the home even across the back of the home where you would have water running down from the the uh the rain that's all been covered with a gutter across there so you won't have any of that falling on you but uh, architectural shingles um there's a couple of different kinds of shingles you have a three tab shingle and then you have an architectural shingle three tab shingles are typically about a 20 year roof life is what the manufacturer says where says where architectural is typically a 30 years what the manufacturer says 
but um, again this is 106 quail trail my name is Jack Scanlon 334-406-8482 334-406-8482 would love to show you this house it's beautiful thanks guys